For centuries, Mongolians have lived a nomadic life as herders in the countryside. But that's changing. In the past 25 years, Ulaanbaatar's population has more than doubled to 1.5 million. Most live here, in crowded Gur districts on the outskirts of Ulaanbaatar. Gurs are traditional Mongolian round tents. Searching for employment, many nomadic families live below the poverty line. And with the onset of winter, when temperatures reach minus 40 degrees Celsius, families burn black coal to keep warm, creating a smog so thick it's almost impossible to see. We moved nine years ago to the city. In the countryside, everything is different. It's so peaceful. Here, it's hard. In the city, everything is based on money. This year, the government has banned the use of raw coal and has launched a campaign to burn low-grade coal that emits less smoke. But is it enough to solve the problem? Experts say more approaches are needed. The Asian Development Bank is investing $80 million to build 1,500 social housing units along with key infrastructure such as new roads and sewerage pipes to be completed by 2026. The approach again has to be mixed because you need to make sure that this is included in the city master plan, which was not the case before. You need to ensure that the private sector will be interested to invest. You need to ensure that the community's needs and aspirations are addressed. So there is plenty of factor you have to factor in actually. So it's, it's, it's not easy. There is no one solution. But other approaches are desperately needed on a household level. One Mongolian man combining new design thinking with respect to the Mongolian Gur traditional design is Badrun Gadi of the social enterprise Gur Hub. He's developed a plug-in wall which provides electrical heating, toilet and shower that fits comfortably around the traditional Gur design. One of our focus is to work in directly on the gear itself, on modifying and modernizing the gear so that it becomes a suitable form of housing for urban settlers. Nomads Urangia and Zul Erdene were offered the chance to live in a plug-in gear. They said it not only helped them to stay warm in winter, but also allowed them to start a family. <laughs> Libby Hogan for VOA News, Ulaanbaatar. Тэгэл миний хүч өгөөд байсан байхгүй.